Donald Trump's declaration of a national emergency over his vanity wall has already triggered several lawsuits. Now, three Texas landowners have filed suit against Trump's fake national emergency declaration. According to Al Jazeera, they are joined in the suit by Frontier Audubon Society, an environmental nonprofit that acts as a haven for birds, butterflies and other wildlife. The three citizens who are part of the suit are residents of Star County, which sits on the Texas border with Mexico. The county's immediate proximity to the Mexican border puts it directly in the path of the proposed border wall, which if built, would deprive them of access to their lands. As I pointed out earlier, California is filing suit and California's attorney general told ABC's George Stepanopoulos that the state is ready to go with its case and expects to be joined by several other states, including New Mexico, Oregon, Minnesota, New Jersey, Hawaii, and Connecticut. Becerra believes that the states have clear legal standing and that Trump knows he's going to lose. So, why do it? It's difficult to understand Trump's moves amid his faltering attempts at governing the country. He has been an unapologetic failure since the inception of his presidency. It's obvious that he's pandering to his base or what's left of it these days, but just how stupid does he really think they are? That wall is not going to be built. Perhaps he thinks he can just give them another dog and pony show and they'll be happy. In the meantime, the rest of us are suffering. He cost the American people well in excess of the $5.7 billion he initially requested when he shut down our government for 35 days, causing damage to many American families. He will expend additional funds defending the already filed and coming lawsuits against his fake emergency, which will ultimately be stricken down by his own words, I didn't need to do this but I'd rather do it much faster. Trump has no clue about running our government or much of anything else for that matter, as evidenced by his multiple bankruptcies. And to what end? It has been shown time and again that the bulk of drugs in this country do not come across the Mexican border. Governor Gavin Newsom summed it up best when he referred to the wall as a vanity project and a monument to stupidity and further characterizes Trump's move as a blatant political ploy that he engineered after being embarrassed by House Speaker Pelosi. Dot, rather than learning to do the job for which he was not legitimately elected to begin with, Donald Trump thrives on being a bully. The American people will not be bullied by him. We will stand together and see that he is out of office as soon as humanly possible while we pray that he doesn't do so much damage that it can't be undone.